guys uh we are back uh in another video tutorial so guys uh today we are going to make an image field in our blogs so such that at the time of registration of a new blog we can add an image as well and how we are going to display that uh, we will we will uh, clear that in this video so now uh, first of all what we have to do is right now before going to uh, add a new column for image field okay let me just make it block image okay so models dot image field okay and there are two uh, types of uh, either file field you can use file field or image field okay so we are just specifying it as an image field and upload we have to specify where we are going to upload upload to and here we can say uploads uh, this is the folder name right uh, this folder will be created at the time when we are going to add images so this is it and you, uh, either you can uh, like we have specified the names verbose name we can say image blog image right Hell, here we go okay uh, we haven't run any migrations uh, for that okay let's uh, do that uh, make migrations okay uh, one and we can just any okay uh nil is not defined just import this at the time either uh in this case if uh, there is such issues for this you can specify default and that will uh then you will not see these things okay uh now uh, we have to migrate here we go so uh, there is one more thing uh, whenever you are going to create uh, uh, whenever you are going to use image field so you have to install pillow as well so pillow will deal with your images uh, so for that you have to install pillow pip install pillow and you can hit enter and there you go so I have already installed so you have to install it just make sure you install it before moving uh, forward okay. this is the reason so now let me run run uh, server here we go okay guys and now the thing is uh, before going forward and implementing whole of the stuff there are something uh, some required things uh, like uh, managing static files okay just cause uh, there will be a folder in our directory uh, that will uh, deal with our images and files so for that we have to specify the path static uh, url and media urls so uh, even uh, if you want to check the documentations this is the links i uh, i will provide this in a video tutorial so you can check and read this okay so for that uh, as there it's mentioned we have to specify our static URL okay let me copy this and we will jump into our settings file of our project main project here we have that settings after that we have to specify our static uh, root as well uh, this will be the uh, root we can just specify os dot path dot join and inside that base directory and static okay here we go after that media media url for that media and after that media root and for that os dot path dot join and inside that we can either use base directory or static root 
so just let me specify base root base directory inside that media media here we go this is our first step for this after that uh, we have to open our URL file of our project and inside that we have to import settings uh, from Django dot config import settings and from Django dot config and URL uh, dot URLs dot static and import static so now we have to add plus and either we can you do this uh, in this way static and mention the roots or we can if settings dot debug okay URL patterns plus static inside that we have to specify our media URL settings dot media URL document root is equal to settings dot media root okay these are the things we have to specify here and now uh, the like uh, we have created our field so we are going into our forms we will mention it here that we need this okay uh, guys don't forget to specify the limited fields okay so here we go blog image okay now uh, we have to go back to in our let me just close this and this file as well now we are in our views file right so so uh, for that uh, what we have to do now is we have to okay uh, just let me open blogs so we are going to make a field now div form group inside that we have to specify form dot blog image okay uh, dot label and the other one will be field so here we go let me refresh our blog and boom this is our field even you can use a uh, bootstrap for this as well so uh, let me open bootstrap uh, file field just a second oh got bootstrap forms and where is it file 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 of con form control file so for that form control file so let me go back i have copied paste okay so in form control we are going to specify that this is a form control uh, its input or file 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 here we go we can remove placeholder okay so let me refresh now and okay uh, that is file input field right so mm, form group just a second uh, where is that one
ओके हेर वी गो इनपुट कस्टम दिस इज इट फाइल लेबल 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 फाइल इनपुट कस्टम फाइल इनपुट ओके सो लेट मी जस्ट कॉपी दिस एंड लेट मी गो बैक इन साइड ओके सो नाउ वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज वी हैव टू जस्ट रिप्लेस दिस फोर फोर लेबल ओके दैट्स इनपुट लेबल कस्टम फाइल लेबल सो आदर वी कैन यूज दैट वन फॉर द लेबल एंड वी विल स्पेसिफाई द आई डी हैश ओके चूज फाइल दैट्स इट एंड कस्टम फॉर्म इनपुट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दैट ओके हेर वी गो एंड लेट मी जस्ट रिमूव द स्पेसिस जस्ट हैव अ लुक एंड हेर वी गो ओके सो राइट नाउ इट्स नॉट क्लिकेबल सो लेट मी जस्ट गो इन साइड द फॉर्म्स फॉर्म दैट वॉज फॉर फील्ड लेट मी हैव अगेन सो हेर वी गो नाउ दैट्स वर्किंग प्रॉपरली फाइन ओके आइर वी कैन जस्ट फॉर्म लेबल लेट मी आई थिंक सो दिस विल बी रिवर्ट ओके दैट्स फाइन ओके गाइज सो नाउ द थिंग इज दिस इज फाइन दिस इज इन वर्किंग कंडीशन एंड आफ्टर दैट वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू ओके वन मोर थिंग इन साइड फॉर्म्स वी हैव टू स्पाइसिफाई इनक्रिप्ट इनक्रिप्ट टाइप सो दैट्स ओके दैट्स इन मल्टीपार मल्टीपार्ट फॉरवर्ड स्लैश फॉर्म हाइफन डाटा फॉर्म डाटा सो if you are going to upload any files you have to specify this so this is done now it's time to work on our views file so for that inside that we have to specify request dot files okay one thing is this and after that we have to okay just uh, let's try with this uh, almost it's done let me have refresh this field test test and let me click and say go okay uh let me refresh and here we go okay uh, that means uh, our form worked okay so now the thing is we have to display this image uh, in our blocks so for that uh, we are going to move towards our what so called blog list page and inside that before the description we are going to use our image field image for ssrc okay image and okay blog dot blog image let me have a look to this okay so the thing is we have to check the url uh, for this upload and it says in django so for that we have to uh, let me have a look to our folder where is it so media inside media it's django and let me specify the media here the folder is inside the media folder so we are going to specify media and after that uh, that will be uh, the path from database so let's have a look to this let me refresh and scroll down okay here we have that image so that's uh, two where in size class and we can use image fluid 
for responsive image so here we go okay let me add another block let me have a look to for example we say file uploads copy this put this man this is weird there we are now just copy this and put that here that's fine django 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 2 and here we go blogs and you see here we have that uh, that was it for today and see you in next tutorial